Illustration or concept art? After watching this video, you will never have the confusion on what is what. And if you're trying to decide on which one do you like the most, I'm gonna help you make that decision. What's up guys, Lucas here, I'm a concept artist and illustrator working for video games and this channel is all about art and art related content so if that's something that you like, consider subscribing. See, the confusion between what is concept art and illustration comes from the fact that both use very similar skill sets. Both concept artists and illustrators need to, in the majority of cases, know how to draw and paint really fucking good. Both also work for entertainment product clients, that is movies, magazines, animated films, animated series, short films, etc. And most of the time, the product of both ends up looking exactly the same. But that is pretty much where the similarities end. See, the key difference between both is a word that I really love, and that is purpose. As an example, let's take the work of the amazing artist Carla Ortiz. That, by the way, I have one of her prints right there. I love you, Carla. Let's put two of her works in the screen right now. One is concept art and the other one is illustration. Can you see which one is which? Correct. Well, actually, I don't know which one did you choose, but let's say that you did it right. This one is concept art and this one is the illustration. How do I know? Because the purpose is different. One was done as an illustration for Game of Thrones and the other one was concept art for the movie of Doctor Strange. In fact, the purpose of illustration and concept art are so different that you have them in opposite sides of a production timeline. When you produce something, like a video game for example, you research the ideas at the start of the project and the concept artists research those ideas in a visual form. They solve visual problems. After the video game is done, the illustrator comes and takes the product that hopefully came out awesome and presents it to the public in the best way possible. Both of them in the form of drawings and paintings. So see, even if the results look exactly the same, the purpose is completely different. One is to generate ideas and the other one is to sell those ideas. Let's just see if you got it. Here are two images of the beautiful Evan Amundsen, one of my favorite artists. I'm gonna give you a couple of seconds so that you can decide which one is the illustration. Right? If you have been paying attention to this video, you know by now that you cannot know which one is an illustration or concept art unless you know the purpose for what they were created. In this case, both of them are illustrations. One is the cover of Evan's book and the other one is the cover of Imagine FX magazine. Yeah, I get it, Lucas, all this rambling is good. I understand the difference between both, but please tell me which one is better, which one is easier to get into and which one pays the most. Well, I hate to say it, but as with everything, it depends. Illustration is meant for the general public to see and buy the product that you're selling. While concept art or concept design is meant for the internal team to get inspired and build upon. Concept art has its place at the birth of a project, so you will have a lot of decision power on how everything looks, like armors, castles, spaceships, weapons, whatever. Illustration you will find it at the end of the project, where all the pieces of the puzzle, let's say, let's call it that way, have been already decided. And your decision power is just on how you organize and present those, those pieces so that you can sell the product better. So if you have some desires to be the almighty god of the universe, then maybe concept art is your place. Both disciplines are subject to very tight deadlines and illustration can be expected in a window of around three weeks, while concept art is expected by truckloads every single day. So if you like pixel pushing and rendering all the little details, then illustration is your way to go. What about the pay? Well, I have heard from very accomplished artists that illustration doesn't pay as good as concept art pays. But it's also true that if you can make yourself a name as an illustrator, you'll be stepping your price higher and higher because clients will look for you not because you can paint 
but because you are you and you have a very distinctive style. And talking about style, you will see that in illustration it is kind of important to have a style, to be able to sell yourself to different clients. While in concept art it is not that important because you will end up changing your style depending on the IP that you are working for. Now, if you are still undecided on which one do you prefer, I'm gonna tell you a very simple question, one that I heard years ago when I was barely starting out in one of Feng Su's videos and it helped me, like, helped me a lot to decide on which one did I prefer and where did I want to take my career. Just try to picture yourself working for whatever, imagine World of Warcraft. What would you rather do? Would you prefer painting the armors, the mounts, the swords, the shields, the scenarios? Or would you rather paint a gigantic, amazing scene of two armies clashing together and rays of magic shooting on the sky? I know, both sound pretty badass, right? That is part of the reason why I like doing both. And if you like doing both too, don't worry, there are a lot of opportunities for you to develop as an artist in both fields. I just want you to understand that the discipline the expectations, the involvement in the project between both professions are quite different. I hope that this video helped you understand the difference between both and maybe if you were undecided between both, helped you decide which one do you like the most. Tell me down in the comments which one do you prefer, concept art or illustration? Or if you have any other questions about the subject, please put them down there and I'll be sure to check them out and answer you. That's it for me guys, thank you very much for watching this video till the end, leave me a like if it was useful and of course subscribe for more content like this. I'll see you guys in the next video, bye.